Now you should follow suit and just get to the back People gon' talk either good or it's bad I see people gon' talk either good or it's bad Green? Yes, I like that. Welcome back to the Empress Kina Show. Ask the Empress. So today, we have a few submissions here. So the first one we're going to call business and pleasure. I had a one night stand with one of my clients. I'm gonna just sum this up because it's too long. Basically, she got her own little side business or whatever, and she ended up having sex with one of her clients, right? Now, bad you, it was just a one night stand. It wasn't supposed to be nothing. And then he started hitting her line, trying to get her to come back over, trying to get her to hang out. Now this dude, Text her and he goes off like. I guess he thought that they were a couple after this. Basically, she want to know what she should do about that. Like, should she cut off the business part of that relationship? And then that's also money she losing. My advice would be, shorty sounds a little loco. Meaning that if you need to cut him off, you can do that. It's really not that deep. I ain't never seen a dude act like that. I kind of mix business and pleasure. So it will probably be best if y'all just cut all ties anyway. Especially if he acting crazy like that over a one night stand, sir. Crazy, I will cut him off. Maybe you need to block him because he sounded a little crazy, little stalker. I hope he don't know what he's saying. All right, on to the next. We're gonna title this person Big Mistake. This person basically cheated on his girlfriend, right? With one of his female friends. Basically, they went out and they ended up kissing. I don't know how his girlfriend allowed him to just go hang out with another girl. Watch out, what 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 y'all need to go out for by yourself? What 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 what's going on? Anyway, Alan he feels really guilty about it, but he's like, I don't want to tell my girlfriend. He's worried about losing her. What should he do? I get it. If you don't want to tell Shorty, I get that, but that's definitely not the right thing to do. I personally say you should tell her. That's not cool. Like you lying to your girlfriend. If you love her, you should be honest with her. But I also get it. I mean, hey, you are running the risk of like her breaking up with you, but at the same time, you shouldn't have kissed your friend. You wasn't worried about losing your girlfriend when you was kissing on your friend. All right, last but not least, we have another anonymous story. We're gonna call this make or break. Basically, this dude has been talking to this girl. He say she real cool, he really like her, but there's been some red flags. She getting a little too attached, a little too soon. He just be spazzing a little bit on little stuff. Who he texting, all types of weird stuff. Like, almost like she trying to control what he doing. You know, they not together, they just talking right now. His gut is telling him that this ain't it, but at the same time, he felt like if he cut things off, it could kind of go left. Should I say something? Should I not? Basically, he wants to know how he should cut this girl off without hurting her feelings. If she already low-key acting clingy, you can't avoid hurting her feelings because her feelings are already involved. She gonna be upset. If your gut is telling you that it's a flag on a plate, mm, I'm not really feeling that. Then she not it. And honestly, the best way to do it is just to be honest and be direct. And you don't necessarily gotta say, you be kinda acting crazy sometimes. You don't gotta be that direct and that blunt. But just be honest, just be like, listen, I like you, you're cool. I think that's cool what we got going on. But I don't really see this going anywhere. And that may be a little harsh if you don't want to say that. Or you could just say that you're really not in a position to commit to her right now. I don't want to waste her time. So you would rather just be friends and you think she deserves better. That's a good way to phrase it. You're showing her that you care about her feelings. And you're also acknowledging that that's not what you want for yourself at this moment. But you also have to be prepared. Because she might just say, no, that's fine. I don't want that either. I don't want no relationship right now. Some girls be trying to front their move because they just want to keep you underneath their pocket. So you got to be prepared for a rebuttal. So if she do try and hit you with that no, that's fine. I'm not looking for nothing either. Then you gotta come up and you gotta be a little bit more direct. I think it's best that we remain friends. Just leave it there. All right, my camera's about to die, so that's all I got for you. Please tune back in to the next episode of Ask the Empress.